This demonstration is to demonstrate the effectiveness of flame safe, fabric safe on various types of fabric. The particular fabric that we're going to use today is 50% polyester and 50% cotton. It's simply spray the fabric until it's damp. The coverage rate for fabric safe is between 300 and 500 square feet per gallon. The test we're going to conduct today is typical of the NFPA 701 standard, which is the most recognized standard in the industry. Flame Saves has conducted numerous tests from third party accredited laboratories, including Southwest Research Institute. Diversified Laboratories, Southwestern Laboratories, Maxim Technologies, Langenthal, amongst others. It has passed and exceeded the standards under the CFR 1632.4, which is used for mattress ticking, the FF 4-72, mattress pads. In addition to the FAR, which is the Federal Aviation Administration, test designation 25.853 A and B, the California 1237.1, the Caltech 117-F, the New York and New Jersey Port Authority, and the Boston test. Flame safe products can be used on upholstery, textiles, aircraft interiors, draperies, wall covering, cotton muslin, fabrics, films, and even tents. At this time, we're going to conduct a test. The fabric on your left has not been treated with any fire retardant. The fabric on the right has. This test is conducted under the NFPA 701. The fabric is sitting one inch away from the back wall. The burner is set at one inch below and one inch from the fabric surface. We're going to conduct the test at this time. This test is usually conducted for 45 seconds, but as you can see, the fabric on the left, the untreated fabric, is completely engulfed in flames. At this time, I'm going to Locate the burner, same distance away, and one inch below the fabric on the right, which is the one that has been treated. We are going to continue this test for 
minimum of two times the length of the test that is conducted under the NFPA 701. The results from this test that we are conducting at this time corresponds to the test re results at diversified testing. We had a maximum mass loss of 7.08%. The standard allows for 40%. So we are approximately three times less than what the standard requires. The afterburn, which is the residual flame, was zero when we removed the specimen from the fire. It's important to take note, if you'll notice, that there is almost zero smoke generation. That's very important because smoke has a tendency to kill more people than fire. At this point, I'm going to move the burner directly under the specimen, which far exceeds the standard of the NSPA 701. I'm going to remove the burner from underneath the test specimen. Please take note, there was no residual flame, there was no afterglow, and the char length, even though the test was conducted for four times the length of the standard, that is 45 seconds, the char length did not exceed six inches. That is not part of the 701 test, however, it is part of other tests that can be conducted, such as the FAR 25.853, A and B. Flamesafe is one of the only companies that actually publishes test reports online. There are numerous companies that advertise their products. However, they do not have third-party accredited testing laboratory results. This is very important. When inquiring, the consumer should be sure to ask, do you have test reports from accredited testing laboratories? Will you furnish me a copy of the test report? For more information on Flame Safe's products and coatings, go to flame-safe.com on the left-hand side, click products, and the coatings page will come up and other Flame Safe products will come up. You can scroll down to any one of the products and receive the test reports as a PDF file. For more information, call 1-800-333-9197.